Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a really special one. This is courtesy of Bob from Funky Brewing. He sent me a cider, but he also knows that I'm a huge Treehouse fan, and he sent me Emperor Julius. Never ever had this one before. Uh, King, I thought King Julius, King Julius, blah, blah, blah. Never Emperor Julius. So this is 8.8%. Uh, this is, I guess it's up with very <laughs> hazy. So um, yeah, this stands tall uh, on the very top of the Treehouse family tree. So woo. I'm actually curious about the story. Like, what makes this different than, like, King J -J Julius? Or why is it Emperor J -J or Emperor Julius? I'm curious if there's Emperor J -J Julius. <laughs> they do crazy things with their names. Um, anyway, this was canned about yeah, three, yeah, literally to the date, like three weeks ago. So really cool. Uh, beer is very hazy. Yeah? Actually, it looks not the prettiest appearance. Like, it doesn't look like a three-week expression. I mean, uh, it's just like there's always like a little bit of like like these hazies like a little bit of like oxidation just like completely like shifts their color. So this one has like a little bit of this kind of like darker hue to it that I'm not really used to, but it's completely murky murky hazy, um, slightly off white head, and has like this lighter kind of gold color. But yeah, that's murky as well. So see how this guy turns out. Wow, yeah, that smells like fruit juice in glass. Well, that too, but also that like it it, it still has like. It is very uh, fruity and, and that's great, but it, it but it does have that kind of little bit of like oat wheat thing, you know, that I get from a lot of uh, hazy IPAs. That kind of just like um, doughiness, that kind of like light, 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 like the most um, un uncooked kind of like dope uh, grain products that you're looking at, right? So like, yeah, um, there's definitely uh, some significant amount of that kind of like vegetable thing, um, like you know, I sometimes call it like just blended grass, like they're just this vegetable green, um, uh, green character. I mean, the hops are literally plants, right? So it's just like leafy and green and grassy. Um, but yeah, there's definitely notes of like um, con uh, orange concentrates, a little bit of this just kind of straight up orange juice kind of thing. I get a little bit of a light kind of um, canned pineapple. Yeah, pretty nice. And then there's a little bit of like citric, yeah, more of that citric bite in there, uh, bite in there. So you get a little bit of like white grapefruit juice. Mm, wow, um, very creamy, very saturated. So these beers have evolved, right? Like maybe this is what Trias tastes like, but I, I don't remember it. Like this to me, it, it, it there's a lot of this kind of like um, like oat wheat thing. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure some of the recipes before maybe had some, but this like just feels like a different brewery. At least like then again, like uh, we're talking about a brewery that I'm like used to think talking about. Sad, five, five plus years ago, right? You know, so like obviously recipes, uh, processes, and everything, things are gonna change. But like I, you know, I'm talking about like the OG days. Um, Basically anything before Charlton, right? Like basically anything before Charlton, like maybe from the, the little place to the 30 barrel brew house, but like talking about all the beer before that. So what's it taste like? Um, first off, I wouldn't let this warm up. I smelled it and it's on the palate too. Um, there's definitely a, a strong presence of this kind of like green uh, vegetal character. Um, it hit, sort of hits on the back end. Um, this beer is not necessarily too chalky, which is great. That clash, that combination of the chalky plus the green is like so disgusting. Um, the green here is pretty intense, like it's sort of. So the fun thing, uh, I, I smell that I smell like fruit juice. Um, there's a Julius thing going on, right? There's a lot of this kind of like juicy fruit bubblegum thing. The signature flavor of that is so distinct and so delicious. But then um, it has more of this orange Julius thing. Um, oh. Wheat creamy, like the creaminess is something I'm not really familiar with with Treehouse. So they sometimes combine that kind of like juicy fruit bubble gum thing with that kind of modern kind of like again, uh, um, the half does it all the time. They call it oat cream or whatever, like their recipes. But um, there's this sludgy kind of like. Well, the mouth feels good too, but there's a, again a pale malt character, like even paler than like Pilsner pale malt, right? Like it, it's it's that kind of doughiness. Um, so it's like Rice Krispies. Um, um, what do you call them? Like oatmeal cakes, uh, oat cakes. I don't know. <laughs> what are you, those those cakes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Like you, you eat one, like you're super, like you know, mouth's all dry. Um, so all that kind of like 
uh, a Wonder Bread, all the kind of like white grain character. And the fruitiness is quite nice. Like it, along with the juicy fruit, you get some of that tropical uh, character. You get like mango juice, um, orange. But then in the back end, it, 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 honestly, one of the largest notes about this beer is the vegetable character. It is so grassy green. It, it's, it, it's literally stuffing like you know, a mouthful of leaves in your mouth. Um, then again, I guess that's salad. So, but it's a different kind of like. The fruitiness and juicy fruit flavor is really intense and really delicious. Um, and the creaminess is really uh, tasty. And the oatmeal thing is actually pretty nice, fun spin on like what I'm familiar with on um, uh, three ounce beers. But um, as I drink it more, yeah, it's not really too chalky. It's just it has a lot of polyphenol you know, kind of attack to it. And like you think it'd be like not unreasonable because like you know wheat salads and all stuff, but it's like more abrasive than that. It's like kale and like endive, right? It's that bitter. Green grass. Like, you know, eating spring mix and like lettuce doesn't really get you quite there. It's a very leafy kind of uh, palate um, characteristic. So, um, is this, does it live up to what I expect? Probably not, especially if this is like the special, special one, like one that you have to trade for or like super limited release. Like, I would hope that like some of the other releases or at least the base ones don't have this intensity of just. But I think that's part of the issue. Like, you're, you're trying to make it like Emperor Julius or massive, massive, massive. Um, and you're just going to pump up a lot of hops in there. And then, like, I guess the side effect of that is just this kind of like green polyphenol kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say without that, this beer is very, very tasty. Like, insane. Like, I, I'm looking I'm looking for these all these, like, tasty um, uh, flavor notes of, like, ripe cantaloupe and that orange juicy thing and then the, the the juicy fruit yeast character it's so delicious but it's it's like tampered and like um what is it? you know what it's like seeing a very very like beautiful beautiful film but like the volumes at like <laughs> like like one and just like barely get the dialogue right like it's just like it, it's there but it's like right there's something it's missing some or i guess in the, the other ways it's missing. sorry it's like watching like the most amazing film like you know your favorite film of all time and like you see all the great things and all the but then someone's blaring like just like loud music right next to you you know right like it's just distracting right it, it, it it's all there it's you see it the, the visual of this one actually wasn't the best but you smell it you taste it you're like oh yeah it's all there but then like this is loud green character that you can smell like yeah i mean i smelled it on first take but then it's, it's definitely like attacking the palate so what do they have um uh opaque orange color uh most beautiful this is not the most beautiful. I mean, you guys tell me. Is that the most beautiful hazy beer you've ever seen? I don't know. It's very hazy, very murky, but it's not as bright and like, like, like glowing as I uh, tend to like in some of these um, other beers. Uh, gives off notes of rich orange juice, yes. Orange starburst, good, good. Melon high chews, yeah. I was getting this like really nice kind of like cantaloupe, but like they even like call out like starburst and like high chews, which is like you know branded, must say trademark candies, but yeah, whatever. Throw it on there. Overripe mango. So good tasting notes. Good tasting notes. I mean, I, I think I think you taste those, but. And then they also say like comma, um, and a lot of grass. <laughs> oh, do you know what it is? Um, I also get this in a lot of uh, beer. Um, it's a smack of geranium too. There's it's it it it's like eating rose petals and potpourri. It's like floral and like so. It's not only like eating like greens and grass and leaves, but it's also like eating like flower petals. Like that geranium is so intense. It's like so. Um, not slightly, very distracting, very distracting. Um, where did I put this? You know, I bet, I bet the rating on this is insane on tap, like four, 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 five, four, six or something. But, um, I would definitely have this colder. I would definitely share it. It's definitely not a 60 ounce beer. Um, but it's, you know, has this great characteristics to it. Uh, hard to say. You know, it's hard to be, it's hard to, to be excited about Hazy's when a brewery like Free House with the most special limited release. That's what these beers taste like. I, I you know, I, maybe I'm just over Hazy's. Um, 87. 87. Wow. 87. I almost pulled out. 87. <laughs> Not that I hate the beer, this beer that much, but 87, yeah. Um, very good. I mean, like, has all these, like, great characteristics to it, but then, like, again, there's just this blaring flavor. Of like distracts you so very very good again without that man this would be a dinger this, this is definitely a plus territory but then like again you're losing <laughs> imagine like 
this beer being possibly a 97, 98, 99, and then it goes all the way down to 87 because, again, you can't get rid of that flavor. It's, it, it's, it, it, it sits on your palate. So very interesting. Thank you so much, Bob. I really appreciate it because, again, I give it a B plus, but, like, that's not the point. It, it, it's the ability to even, like, taste famous beer like this. Like, I have never had Emperor Julius, and then, like, being able to revisit Treehouse. Like, like well, it's been a while. I haven't had Treehouse in, like, a year or two, right? Like, what does it taste like these days? And, like, unfortunately, I don't really trade and blah, blah. So, like, it's nice to actually, like, get a slice of, like, arguably one of my one of my favorite breweries, you know, like, at least in my memories. Um, a slice of, like, hey, this is where this brewery's at at this moment. So, really fun stuff. Thank you so much, Bob. Later.